Science 3, Quarter 2, Week 5 Compare living things with non-living things Can you identify living things? How about non-living things? What differentiates them? We are going to tackle those questions today. Learning competency with code The learner should be able to compare living things with non-living things. I have a question to you children. How do you know if something is alive or not? What do you see? How do you know which object is living and which is non-living? I want you to look at your surroundings. You will see that you can find many different things in the world. Remember that all the things around us can be grouped into two things, living things or non-living things. Can you name a living thing? How about one non-living thing? Living things have characteristics that make them different from non-living things. Let's study them one by one. People, plants, and animals are considered as living things. They need food, air, water, sunlight, and shelter for them to survive and live. Living things eat, breathe, move, grow, excretes waste, and reproduce. Just like us humans, we need to eat our food. That's why we have the go, grow, and glow foods. For the animals, we have the carnivore, those animals that only eat meat, herbivores, those animals that only eat plant, and omnivores, those animals that eat both plants and animals. Plants, like animals, need food as well. They can make their own food through the process of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis occurs in the leaves of plants. Living things respond or react to changes around them, or they respond to stimuli. A stimulus is something that causes a reaction. It can provoke you or excite your sense organs. Just like the chameleon, chameleon skin has a superficial layer which contains pigments and under the layer are cells with guanine crystals. Chameleon change color by changing the space between the guanine crystals which changes the wavelength of light reflected of the crystals which changes the color of their skin. Another example is the movement of makahiya leaves when they are touched. The makahiya leaves close after being touched. And we also cover our nose when we smell something that is unpleasant, just like garbage. Now, let's go to non-living things. Non-living things do not have life. They do not eat, breathe, and excrete waste. Non-living things do not grow, they do not reproduce, they also do not react to touch, temperature, and sound.
Non-living things cannot move on their own. You need to apply force to move them, just like what is shown in the picture on the left side. Non-living things like books, pencils, paper, coloring materials, and bags are useful in school. So, you see, we use non-living things in our everyday life. We use appliances like television, computer, washing machine, and stove at home. All of them are considered as non-living things. Now, let's have some activities. Let us find out. Identify the following pictures. Right living or non-living on the blank. Number one. Number two, are these living or non-living things? Number three, is this a living or non-living thing? What do you think? Number four, is this a living or non-living thing? And number five, is this a living or non-living thing? Activity two, choose it. Write the word true if the statement is correct. False if it is incorrect. Number one, living things need air. Living things need air. True or false? Number two. Non-living things need food and water. Non-living things need food and water. True or false? Number three. Non-living things can move on their own. Non-living things can move on their own. True or false? Number four. Living things can grow. Living things can grow. Is it true or false? Number five, you are a living thing. You are a living thing. Is it true or false? It is three. Take this. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Number one. Which is a non-living thing? Which is a non-living thing? A. Plant B. Baby C. Book D. Dog Number 2. Which is a living thing? Which is a living thing? A. Toy car B. Cat C. Baby doll D. Book Number 3. Which of the following shows a set of non-living things? Which of the following shows a set of non-living things? A. Soil tree warm B. Rock snail grass C. Sunlight water soil or D. Snail water soil Number 4. Which of the following are characteristics of living things? Which of the following are characteristics of living things? 1. They grow. 2. They can reproduce. 3. They cannot respond to changes around them. 4. They need air, food, and water. A. 1, 2, and 3. B. 2, 3, and 4. C. 1, 3, and 4. 
D. 1, 2, and 4. Number 5. Which is not a characteristic of non-living things? Which is not a characteristic of non-living things? 1. They do not grow. 2. They do not move by themselves. 3. They need food, water, and air. 4. They do not respond to changes. A. One only. B. Two only. C. Four. Activity 4. Check time. Analyze the pictures and determine whether the object is living or non-living by answering yes or no questions. Object number 1. There are different characteristics. Type yes or no in each column. Does it grow? Does it reproduce? Does it move by itself? Does it breathe? Does it need food? Is it a living thing? Is it a non-living thing? Number 2. Does it grow? Does it reproduce? Does it move by itself? Does it breathe? Does it need food? Is it a living thing? Is it a non-living thing? Number 3 Yes or no? Does it grow? Does it reproduce? Does it move by itself? Does it breathe? Does it need food? Is it a living thing? Is it a non-living thing? Number 4 Yes or no? Does it grow? Does it reproduce? Does it move by itself? Does it breathe? Does it need food? Is it a living thing? Is it a non-living thing? Number 5. Yes or no? Does it grow? Does it reproduce? Does it move by itself? Does it breathe? Does it need food? Is it a living thing? Is it a non-living thing?